Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss what is residue magnetism. In my another video, as we have already seen how to create a electromagnet. This is a variable voltage source, and this is the positive terminal of our battery because of which the current will be flowing in this direction. As we have already seen, as the current is flowing in this direction, the flux will come out from here. That means. This will be our north pole, and this will be our south pole. So, if you are good in materials, you will always use a material with the highest permeability. Why is that? If you use a core with highest permeability, you will be able to create the strongest magnet. And more is the permeability of material, more will be the increase in flux with the same amount of increase in current. If you increase the current with a small amount, there will be a huge increase in flux. If the permeability of your material is really high, so what will happen if I increase the value of this voltage source? That means if I increase the value of this voltage source, what will happen to the flux? If you analyze this core material under a microscope, you will see there are thousands of grains, and these individual grains act as a small magnet. But in a normal condition, the flux that is coming out through this piece of iron or any material is zero. That means the net flux during any normal condition is zero. But if there is a winding, And I increase the current. These small electromagnets or these grains align themselves in such a direction as to increase the net flux, because this is the only position in which they will experience a minimum reluctance. So that means if you keep on increasing the current, the grains inside the material keep on aligning, and because of which. the flux is increased and once all the grains inside the material are aligned the increase in flux will be less or the flux will almost become constant that means when you have reached this position in which you have aligned all the grains and this is the position what we call as saturation that means you have saturated the piece of material once all of these grains are aligned even if you increase the current considerably the flux will almost remain constant now the next question that comes in our mind is if you decrease the current to zero what i mean is you have already aligned the grains and after the grains are already aligned now you are decreasing the current to zero now what will happen there will be still some magnetism left due to alignment of grains that means once these grains are already aligned now you can take off your the windings and you can switch off your power supply there will be still some residual magnetism that would be left here although this magnet would not be that strong but there is some magnetism and this residue magnetism can be removed by heating the piece of material to a high temperature or beating the material with the hammer that means you can remove this alignment and you can make this flux zero by heating or beating the material this whole concept has been summarized by the bh curve this is the current and this is the phi normally your material is in this position if you have never exposed it to the current that means the piece of material that you are using is a virgin if you keep on increasing the value of current the value of flux keep on increasing and then the point comes this is the point b where your piece of material has been saturated even if you increase the current beyond the point b 
your flux will not increase it has become a constant now if you decrease the flux this is the position where your magnet has saturated now if you decrease the current to zero there will still be some magnetism in this position the current is zero but there is still some magnetism that is left and this is called the residue magnetism and now you have to apply an extra force or the current in the reverse direction to make the flux equal to zero and this extra amount of current that you have to apply to make the net flux equal to zero is called coercivity and the same cycle repeats always the concept of residue magnets can be seen in dc generator this is a place where you can realize or you can apply this concept that is in dc generator we always use the concept of residue magnetism because we do not want to excite the windings with the extra source this is the residue magnetism the all grains are already aligned and you have switched off your power supply there is still magnetism that is left and this is the coercivity that is the extra force that you are applying in the opposite direction the extra current so as to make the net flux equal to the next the net flux will become zero so to see all this practically you have to see my other video and if you have any question or any query i am i will feel really happy to answer those questions thank you